it was a vortex of energy. You can visualize energy by taking a rock and dropping it into a pond. Well, the energy of the rock as it hits the water is translated into the pond water. What is the result? Ripples that radiate out, ripples and ripples radiating out. That is the shape of energy. The energy is a force who is shaping matter. It's the energy underneath the water. It's continuously vibrating. Waves and ripples come out of atoms. Atoms are spinning vortexes of energy, and in the process, they make waves, and these ripples go out into space. Everything in the known universe in regard to the physical experience is based on atoms, and all atoms are energy vortices with ripples that radiate out. Atoms are nano-tornadoes. Well, let's consider then the real tornado. It's a spinning vortex of energy. Try and drive your car through a tornado. As you get to the tornado, the force field of that vibration can actually lift up your car and throw it away. Vortices of energies, nano-tornadoes, have force fields to them. I can see a tornado. It's got all the debris and the dirt and the dust that's been picked up by the windstorm and thrown all around. If you take the dirt and dust out of the tornado, it's still an energy force field, even though now you can't see it. An energy force is invisible but you can feel it because it will push on you, you push on it, that feels physical. As far as we know, the ancient people weren't talking quantum physics, but they obviously knew quantum physics because they understood the nature of the vibration. Even though they live in a world like we live in the world that appears to be physical, this ancient wisdom was built into the Hermetic principles. The Hermetic Principle of Polarity talks about the fact that there are opposites, but they're the same. 